Um, hello, welcome again to tutorial number six. It's under rotational motion. So uh, we are simply going to solve uh, these questions, and I'm just going to highlight uh, uh, how to go about them. Okay, so question one. Uh, question one here, we want to find the deceleration of a wheel and the number of revolutions it turns while it is stopping. Okay. Okay, so given that there's a belt which is passing over this wheel. Okay, so here, the first thing we need to consider is that the equations here uh, quite analogous to those of linear motion so since we are finding the deceleration and we know that when it stops uh, rotating the final speed uh, the final angular speed is going to be zero so we are given the initial there okay so from this if we are to consider the whole equation of this motion we are going to have the final speed squared being equal to the initial speed squared plus 2 times the angular acceleration times angular displacement which is theta okay so if we solve for angular acceleration from this we are going to come up with the equation 1 here okay so then we have our deceleration as the initial angular speed squared over 2 theta where 2 theta uh, where theta is our our angular displacement okay so we are given the initial angular speed okay which is 1.6 revolutions per second but we don't know what theta is so we need to find the angular displacement first so that we can actually uh, go ahead and solve for the deceleration here okay so for the angular displacement this is how you go about you have your wheel like that okay so if this is your wheel you are going to have this as your arc length s and there you have an angle theta which is the displacement and this distance r here from there to the center okay so now to find this angular displacement we are saying it's going to be theta because the arc length over the radius okay so we are told in the question that the belt actually covers uh 29.5 meters okay at the same speed of 1.6 revs per second and the radius of this path is 44 centimeters okay so 44 centimeters is simply 0 0.44 meters if we convert to standard units so we have our angular displacement as the arc length there over the radius and we have 67 radians okay so this is actually the uh, angular displacement in radians so we can simply convert this into revolutions and we would have solved part of the question which wants us to find the number of rev revolutions here okay so 67 radians you can convert those knowing that one revolution is equal to two pi radians so we simply convert what is uh, 67 radians we are going to find 10.7 revolutions okay so while it's stopping it's going to turn uh, rather make 10.7 revolutions okay so now that we have found the angular displacement we can go ahead and solve for our deceleration we know that angular deceleration equals the initial uh, angular speed over to theta 
which is simply 1.6 squared over 2 times yeah, 10.7 and we have our deceleration as minus 0 0.12 revelations per second okay so now we have sought for the deceleration so just follow through the steps we know the equation the initial equation here that's our initial equation we know that angular deceleration is going to be given by omega squared omega naught squared over to theta if you are not given theta and you have the arc length and you know the radius you can simply calculate using theta equals arc length over the radius